It's the Net with Charm, Grammy Crochet. How are you today? Today is another sponsored video, and I've been really excited about this. Um, I was asked to show you guys the um, Hooks and Needles kit from, I want to make sure I do it right, it is hooksandneedles.com, uh, www.hooksneedles.com. No and on there. Are in there and ampersand sign or anything like that um, and they did send me two kits one is a crochet kit and one is a knit kit um, I haven't I haven't peeked I did get them out of the box I did rip the, the tape open but we're gonna turn the camera around and look inside and see what we get I've been so excited to show you these I couldn't wait for them to come in um, this is a sponsored video, if I didn't say that already. Uh, I have wanted to order these, but have been leery because I'm, you know, have some wool allergies and I animal fibers, and I know that sometimes these kits contain, you know, very good, nice yarns that contain animal fibers, um, and I didn't want to uh, get involved in a kit and then find out that that's the case and then I can't use it. They uh, did tell me that most of their yarns do contain animal fibers, um, and if that's the case, then I will definitely do these as a giveaway. If they don't contain animal fibers, then I'm probably going to want to play with them myself. <laughs> so, let's rearrange, um, and I will open the kits with you. Uh, there is one for knitting, and there is one for crocheting. They were on the back. Uh, this is the knit kit, and the other one is the crochet kit. Uh, and I believe these are their new seasonal kits. Um, they have a monthly subscription uh, that you get what you get for the month. Um, and then they have come up with, uh, this is brand new seasonal kit. And I was just on their website, and I don't even think it shows on the website yet. Um, so it's like a very, very new thing, but I'm pretty sure that that's what they said. They're going to send me out the brand new seasonal kits. So let's see what we get. I'm so excited to share this with you. So hold on just a moment. Okay. So here we go. Let's open it up and see what we get. Now, no peeking in the box. So let's see the top of the box says, a whirl of spring colors in your hands. And you get this nice little booklet, which is more like a magazine than just a book. Um, because I'm gonna tell you, I was filming and <laughs> my camera shut off, so I don't know where we filmed and what, what got filmed and what didn't. So we're just gonna start at the beginning again. And I did see this part already. <laughs> uh, so this little magazine book has its, you know, obviously table of contents. Um, over here it tells you the value of everything in your kit to see that you spent $33.97 and I believe plus shipping um, but I'm not 100% sure I couldn't see that on the website um, but this is the seasonal spring knitting box not the monthly crochet one or not the monthly box but the seasonal box uh, let me see if I can turn the page um, you get a special gift inside it talks about that Here's some, um, some tips for um, spring-inspired tips for crafters. And in that, they do talk about natural dyeing. Um, and here's some information on dyeing. Uh, let's see. This month's project. Now, to be honest, there are three projects in this book. Um, patterns for all three instructions uh, uh you know step-by-step -step instructions for all three but there is only enough yarn in here for one project maybe maybe two but i think just one project and then after that you have to use your own yarn so um pick the project that you like the best to do with their yarn um, because it's designed to do it with that yarn i mean that would be my tip for you um, having not worked any of these, but I really like this, and this is part of one of the projects. Um, so the first project are some bunny slippers, and this is what you need, and here's how you start the knitting process, and cast on, and make the slippers, and, oh, 
Here they are. Here is the finished slippers. This is what your little bunny slippers would look like if you, if you make that project. The second project is the crossbody bag, and I believe that's where the color work comes in. Yep, right here. Um, so it shows you what it looks like, shows you the patterns, uh, and that is your what your completed bags could look like. It's giving you two different options. Um, and for your little crossbody bag, two different options, even on the um, handle. You could do like that, or you could do like that. And then the third thing is a flower pillow. And again, instructions and um, here is your completed pillow. So very cool. It's got some of the uh, color work in it. Um, which is kind of neat. Maybe I'll try that. I don't know. Uh, and then we have hues for the season. Our sunshine and citrus, range of sunny yellows and buttery soft tones and blues. Um, then it gives you some crafting ideas for the spring. Uh, long cardigans are in style for spring this year. Then there's a crossword puzzle and uh, some feedback. So let's see what's in the kit now. We have three skeins of yarn. Kind of figured that when I saw the projects. Now these come from Peru, I believe. So this is Freesia Blends, Hooks and Needles, you have 62, point, 62 and three quarters yards, 50 grams, 100% cotton, four weight medium. Uh, use needles six to seven, made in Portugal. That's where they come from, Portugal. I knew it started with a P. Um, and here's your care instructions. It is cotton. They do not have a color number or name on these three colors but all three of them are the same. Aren't they pretty? It's a nice soft cotton. It is, um, it doesn't feel like kitchen cotton. It's, but it's a sturdy cotton. Uh, I, I don't think I would necessarily wear it, um, but it's softer than some other kitchen cottons. Uh, but I don't think it's wearable soft. But it is definitely market bag soft. It is definitely uh, sturdy for slippers. Um, it's, and I really do like the colors. So that's the yarn. And they give you um, needles with the cord on circular needles in a US size seven. They are bamboo and they are from Hooks and Needles. Those are nice. They are giving us some jasmine spring tea. Isn't this the cutest little container? Look at that. It's got flowers and everything. I've got some tea there. Um, then we have these cute little buttons in this little organza bag. And some lint chocolates. Uh, a Linzor, uh, Lin, yeah, Lint chocolate. This is almond butter, and this one is pistachio. Mm, my mouth is watering already. And then we have this piece of cloth. I'm going to assume this is for lining your bag, if you make the bags, or the back of the pillow. Um... Not quite sure. So that's what comes in the spring seasonal kit for knitting. Everything you need and yummy candies and some tea. Very, very nice. I, I like the kit. I like the box. I like the yarn. And they sent me yarn that didn't have wool in it. So I'm very excited about that. I get to play with this one. Let's see what is in the crochet kit. Do you want to? Um, this one is crochet. It does have a CS on the back. You can't see the C, but it's there. 
So let's check it out. Oh, the book is on the top again. And the inside of the box says the same thing. Okay, no peeking. And so we get our little booklet, the same things. Um, we'll, let's look at the yarns and then we'll go back and see what the kits are or what the projects are. How about that? Look at these. Oh my God, I love these colors. Oh, this is nice. This is real soft. This is Perennial Blossom is the kind of yarn. It is, a, or the name of the yarn. It is 100% bamboo viscose, 191 yards, 50 grams. It's a fine two. Use needles two to three, made in Portugal. Uh, and here are your hand wash. Um, here are your care instructions. So we have this bright lime green. Isn't that gorgeous? And it goes with this deep pink. I love them together. And white. I mean, it really brightens it up with the white too, right? Can you see them all? Are they are they focusing? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love those. And oh, I bet the same tea. Yep, the jasmine tea. Same candies. Um, also a U.S. size two, two point seven five millimeter. Bamboo crochet hooks. They give you two. I don't know why two. But you got two of them. Bamboo, thin bamboo handles. That's a, let's take one out. So let's look at this. Look at that. Can you see it? I can't, I can't see to see. Yes, you can. Okay. I have never worked with a flat hook before. It's like rounded, but flat. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna have to try that out. I guess this keeps it together. We have some safety eyes we must be doing in our little organza bag. Yep, and some fiber fill. So we must be doing an amigurumi. Let's put these things back in here. You can stare at that yarn for a second while we figure out what our projects are. So I'm going to venture a guess that a lot of this book is the same since it's more magazine type. Um, let's come down here. So here's your kit. What's in there? Um, it talks about the yarn there. How to make a stitch marker. Oh, okay. So... Pet Toys, Mini Amigurumi Basics, Natural Yarn Dyeing, Fibers of the Season, um, Bamboo, Linen, and Cotton. So this was not in the other. This is yarn dyeing stuff up here. This information I don't think was in the crochet book that I, or in the knit book. Okay, so the first pattern is a pot, floral pot coaster. This month's project over here is the um, bunny. Bunny in a basket, maybe? But we're starting with project number one is the floral pot coaster. So they're showing you how to make it, and I just want to see what it looks like at the end. So at the end, we got this. You've got, you fold it up and it fits in this little basket that you made. Um, and flat, then you pull it out of the basket and lay it here to put your, cup, your teacup on um, and then store it in here and it just looks like little flowers on your table. Then we have the Snuggle Bunny, which you saw him with a green uh, scarf. He's cute. And then we have a blooming flower wreath. Oh, let's see what that looks like. All right, that is interesting. Very interesting. Not my favorite one of the projects, but not bad. Um, and in this one, it says blues and citrus sunshine are the colors of the season. 
just like it said in the other. Same with the cardigans back here. And so the end of the book is the same. And that wraps up this week, this uh, seasons of knit and crochet uh, from Hooks and Needles. And I am going to have their um, website listed in the description box. So hopefully you can just click a link and it'll take you right to their website. I, I know I have seen them all over Facebook and YouTube. Um, for signing up for their, for their kits as well. Um, so they're easy to access. This yarn is incredibly soft. Um, it's got a little bit of a shine to it. It's just incredibly soft. Um, I make yammies out of two and three weight yarn all the time. And this is the softest I have ever felt to make an amigurumi out of. I'll tell you that right now. Um, yeah, you would love this little bunny up to squirrel, to scrunch up with you with that little bunny. Okay, so anyway, uh, that is it for this video on the spring seasonal kits for knit and crochet. I'm so excited to bring these to you. I am not sure if I'm getting um, the just regular kit and uh, the monthly kit. I think they said they are sending me one, but I'm not 100% sure. If I get it, I will uh, send you, you know, I will do a video as soon as I possibly can. Um, again, this will be linked in the description box below. If you're interested in signing up, I'm really thrilled that they uh, did not send me any, well, thrilled for me, <laughs> that there was no wool yarns contained in, in these two kits this month. Wool is not really a a seasonal spring season kind of uh, fabric or kind of uh, material to use so yay for me for that uh, all right so I'm gonna wrap it up now and I will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for watching hooks and needles and I both appreciate it very very much bye bye